Hello, this is Vern, and on today's episode, I'm going to be sharing with you how you can get engaged to an amazing man. So stick with me. Hello, this is Vern. Welcome to your great life to be.com, a space where I share with ambitious, conscious, heart centered, and successful women how you can create the relationship of your dreams and attract the kind of quality man that you want as a direct result of stepping to the most alive and the most feminine version of you without the need for gimmicks, manipulations, or crazy tricks. Now, if you have been on the path of dating guys and you haven't gotten what you want, if maybe on month number five you think things are going great and all of a sudden he pulls the wrong for, rug from under you and says, I'm out, or I can't go forward, or it's different than what I thought, and you're disappointed and heartbroken, I'm going to share with you a couple of different things you can do that are simple, not easy, but simple, that can get you on the right path of finding that engagement, which leads to a wedding, which leads to a life with an amazing human being. First, I'm going to discuss with you three reasons why this doesn't happen sometimes. And I've had many conversations with women, and by many, I, I mean thousands of conversations with women from all over the world who tell me their situation, and it ends up being that there wasn't enough clarity and specificity early on regarding two things, the kind of relationship that the man wants and the time frame that the man is willing to step into to get this thing going. Meaning, maybe the guy never wants commitment, he just wants to feel good without having to step into that additional responsibility. Maybe he does want responsibility of that kind, but he wants it in five years and you want it in one year. And that was never really discussed out of fear of pushing him away, out of fear of him disappearing. You, you were never clear enough with him and lo and behold, you find out at some point something that makes you do a triple take and say, are you kidding me? Why didn't you share this earlier? And the reason he didn't share it earlier is because you didn't ask it earlier. So that's one reason why this doesn't happen. Second reason why this doesn't happen sometimes, or why you might be thinking you're on the right path and then things change like, almost on a dime, is because you may have felt that things weren't ideal. And by ideal, I mean sustainable for a long, long, long-term marriage. But because you felt this feeling of scarcity where you feel like, well, if I let go of him, who's going to show up, it might be years before I find someone where I feel this level of chemistry, then you didn't go get as clear as you needed to with him out of fear of this not happening for you. So it's not maybe a huge surprise for you when it doesn't happen, but it's still disappointing as hell. Third one is there wasn't enough groundedness or enough passion or a combination of both. Here's what I mean. Sometimes there's a lot of passion, a lot of chemistry, but not enough sustainability to make this thing last. Sometimes there is a lot of groundedness, but there's not a, a lot of passion, which means the guy doesn't have the punch in the stomach he needs to take the plunge and say, yes, I'm gonna move forward, and neither do you. So this is, I'm giving you high level things that happen that prevent women from finding love. The, the reason why I'm sharing this with you right now is because I want you to understand something. Because of the way biology works in human beings, and because you may have this thing inside of you where you want to create a family and you want to not just find a guy, but you want to have children at some point. If you, if you don't have children right now, you have a limited amount of time to make this thing happen. Unlike a man, and I'm not just saying that this is fair or not fair, this is just the way things work, who theoretically can get someone pregnant when he's 90, you don't have the same benefit. So you have to get your stuff together before he does, and sometimes that's the cause for a guy to feel like he can go on forever while you feel like this needs to happen right now. So I just want you to keep that in the background because if a guy doesn't feel some sense of urgency to move things forward, you're really wasting your time with him. So here's a formula for a guy feeling like he, the only thing he can do is to commit and to get married to you. It's high value in you, plus strong boundaries in terms of what it is that you want, what it is you don't want, what are you willing to experience or not experience, plus demand from the world. The realistic knowledge that someone else will want you, will take you away from him if he doesn't get his shit together, equals this feeling where a guy says, I can't afford to lose her. This is a reality that I could lose her, and the fear of the commitment that I have to step into right now is lower than the fear of never being able to be with her again. That's ultimately what a guy goes through when he says, I'm going to do this, right? Step number one is now the second part of this video, which is how do you actually pull it off? The first thing I'll share with you right now, 
without a doubt, that will create more openings and more possibilities and more options for you than anything else you could do is to be the light. Be the light means that you create the type of life that you want, the type of movement you want, the type of confidence you need, and the type of aliveness and passion in your own life so that you can enter a room and fill it up with your light. Why? Because the more you're able to do this, the more options you'll have. The more you'll be able to connect with men and have more of a pool of guys to choose from. It doesn't mean that all the guys will be options for you because some of them might be want different things, but you will be able to pick versus saying, well, it's only one option and it's either him or no one. Okay, so that's the first thing that you need to cultivate. Being the light means connecting to your femininity and openness in such a way that guys feel more drawn to connect with you, to ask you out and to take it to the next step. Second, be open to more men. What does that mean? A lot of women connect with a guy, they feel strong chemistry with him, and then they make him the de facto boyfriend without the guy showing that he has what it takes to be a real boyfriend. So that means that they start connecting, they feel strong chemistry, uh, maybe they have sex early on or they get really passionate, and then he doesn't want to date anyone, she doesn't want to date anyone, but it's a, right now it's a Russian relate type of risk. Why? Because you don't know that he is who he says he is, he hasn't taken specific sustainable actions to show you that he really wants commitment versus just wants to fulfill his level of passion without actually being willing to do what it takes to go all the way. So that's the second one. Being open to meet more men, do not become exclusive until and unless you've traveled certain paths with him and both of you have proven yourself to each other and you know that the risk is worth taking. There's always a risk. But there's a gigantic risk and there's a smaller risk. Take the smaller risk <laughs> when possible. Number three, be willing to ask powerful questions without fear. Why? Because you'd rather, you'd rather know on date number one, this isn't going to work out than to fear he's going to run away if you ask him a powerful question. And then date number 320, right? A couple of years later, realize, oh my God, he never wants, he doesn't want children and that's a showstopper for you. Or he wants to live with me without ever getting married. And that's a showstopper for you. Or he wants to get married in seven years and <laughs> that doesn't work for you. Ask powerful questions early on, either without fear or with more fear of wasting your time than finding out sooner. Number four, be clear, vocal, expressive, and have a non-fuckery sense of expressing what's your finish line. Why? Because if what it, whatever it is that you're looking for, he needs to know. And I'm not, you're not saying you have to be the guy who fulfills this. You have to be the one who crosses this finish line. But if he doesn't know what your intentions are, if he doesn't know what you're ultimately looking for, there's a high likelihood that he could conveniently not ask you and then find out both of you that you've wasted each other's time. So as much as you're willing to ask him questions, you also need to say, here's ideally what I'm looking for in a relationship and being willing to share your timeline as well. Number four, focus on developing friendship first. What does that mean? It doesn't mean that you don't experience passion. It just means that if you focus on passion first, uh, there's a likelihood that you could take it all the way passion wise and never get the sense to develop the foundation that your house needs to not be blown away like the three little pigs when somebody comes and blows on it, right? You need to develop the friendship first component so that you're able to connect values wise, to go through different situations together and to understand what it is that he wants out of his life and what makes him tick and what his blueprint of love is and what his blueprint of the world is and then decide, is this something that I want for the rest of my life or not? There's always going to be good and bad things, but if you fundamentally have more bad things than good things, then it's a no for you, right? If you connect with passion first, your heart and your badge, my dear, sorry to be so blunt, are going to trick you into saying, you know what? Go for it. It's going to be worth it. And it may not be worth it. You might be wasting your time tremendously. So please be willing to uh, develop that friendship first. Now, having said this, you need to incrementally, step-by-step step, develop passion. Passion means sexual tension. Passion means holding hands. Passion means kissing. Passion means making out. At some point it becomes sex. But be willing to be very gradual in your process as you go along. Because again, if you take three steps forward without going through steps one and two, then you're going to create this false sense of connection 
without having what it takes to meet it. So be willing to have this combination, gradual passion versus instant uh, 100 miles an hour in two seconds passion. Now, the next one is be willing to set boundaries throughout the process, even the highest boundary, which is being willing to walk away. Why? I've had so many conversations with clients of mine where guys were not showing up strong and what they had to do was come to a point where they said, I love you and you're an amazing man and I love myself first and foremost. So because we're wanting different things, I have to, with all the pain in my heart, be willing to let go of you. So thank you for being in my life. If this ever changes for you, reach back to me. If it doesn't, please let me heal right now. And lo and behold, a couple of days later, or a week later, or a month later, the guy all of a sudden gets the testicular fortitude he needed to move forward because he knew that that was probably his last attempt, his last chance of actually getting this woman. And he moves on and has great, or he disqualifies himself. But in any case, you're willing to sacrifice a relationship that's not going where it needs to be as much as there's love and connection and passion there to actually get the life that you want, which includes all those things, plus maybe the marriage that you want, or the children, or the time frame where you can have both of them, okay? Last step is simple, say yes. <laughs> and I know that it seems like such a, oh, Bern, why are you even saying that? Because you're gonna get afraid as well. Why? Because you're also saying yes to one guy for the rest of your life, if everything works well. So being willing to say that, it doesn't mean that there's no other potential partners for you. It doesn't mean that there's not somebody else who could fulfill the role. It just means that you're having to cut out other possibilities for growing as deep as you can with one human being and leave the kind of life and legacy that few people dare to experience at the deepest level. Hope this is helpful, insightful, useful to you in some way. If it is, I'm gonna ask you to do three things. Number one, click like or thumbs up on this video. Number two, subscribe to my channel and click the little bell if you want to be notified of new episodes as they come out. Number three, most important of all, if you want to take a masterclass that I created for free that shows you how to deepen the knowledge that you experience right now, then first link under the description of this video, you'll find a place that you click on, enter your name and email, and then you'll be immediately redirected to this free masterclass. If you want my hand holding and help, second link under the description of this video will allow you to apply to work with me. Thank you so much for connecting with me and as always I challenge you to live a full and a conscious life.